Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2016. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, in the context of love, we have a full moon happening in your sign. Now, this full moon is happening late in the month and speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune, eventually. And what I mean by that is, this full moon is happening early in the sign, in your sign, so we'll speak more strongly to those of you born in the very first days of your sign, particularly those of you born between the 20th and the 25th. But again, all Scorpios out there should be feeling this energy of emotions rising, of swelling, of realizing what's really in your heart, and also believing that something more optimistic and more beautiful is available to you. So this full moon is happening early in your sign. And so there's a sense here of beginnings, but it's a full moon and full moons are about fruition. They're about culmination. They're about things coming to conclusion. And with a full moon in particular, it is about some truth, an emotional truth that you already know, but it's about fully admitting it to yourself, accepting it, really understanding that this is the reality of your situation. This is the reality of what you feel and getting in touch with that, acknowledging that that is the power of any full moon. And when it's in your sign, it's a deeply personal understanding whose time has come. When I see a full moon like this, which is essentially not really having any major conversations until quite later after it's been full, um, it does suggest that there's a very strong personal element to this, very strong. It's a lot about you, but there's nothing that gets us in touch with what we really feel like love. And ultimately our realizations give us hope with Neptune there, it gives us hope. However, our lives actually looking different, that will take a little bit more time to come together. Actually, we'll have to wait until we get to the very end of the spring. Mars retrogrades back into your sign. That's when movement happens. That's when things start getting energized, right? That's when things start, uh, you start getting in touch with that deeper understanding of what, what actions, what determinations you're ready to make and where it is that you're ready to focus your energy. So it's personal and it's about you. The way that I see this working out, especially in the context of love, it has to do with, and I think it's going to speak more strongly to those of you who are um, just getting to know somebody, or even if you have somebody there, if it isn't a relationship that has a long extended life, right? If it isn't a relationship that you've been in for, you know, you've a history with this person, but rather this is someone that you've aligned with or has been meaningful to you, um, or someone that you're even that you're just getting to know then this is going to be you like seeing the situation as it actually is. And that's not always easy, especially if you have invested a measure of hope, a measure of time, as much as there is hope with this full moon. Ultimately to me, what this says is that you are really looking at yourself in light of this situation and admitting to yourself where it is that this is working and where it isn't. And particularly where it is, it happens to all of us, where it is that we see what we want to see, that's going to be really hard with this particular full moon. And even though we've got Neptune there, and Neptune does really support seeing what you want to see, at the same time, you can't deny it's a full moon and it is about admitting what's really going on. So where it is that you've made something more than it actually is, where it is that you've sort of filled in a lot of gaps or made excuses for somebody, you will accept that you'll look at that and you'll be able to find your peace within that. There's also a sense with this full moon that whatever has been, you now are ready to let it go. And this is going to speak very strongly to those of you who are in an established bond. So if you actually are with someone, if there's any area where, um, you need to forgive or you need to forgive yourself in particular, take ownership for your part, your responsibility. That's what having a full moon in your sign helps you with. And once we get a little bit further down the road and Mars enters your sign, that's when your actions will start to change that much more deeply as well. But to me, this says you're getting in touch with what you really feel 
in this bond, how emotionally supportive, supported you feel or not, and making choices from that place. Those of you open to meeting someone new, again, this element of forgiveness, this element of putting the past behind you, this element of being open to what it is that the future could be, knowing that it can be inspired and beautiful and better, will help you to shift your energy as you do prepare for love, meaningful love, connection finds you as we get into next month in particular and energy really starts to shift in your favor. Actually, before the month is over, you're going to start experiencing planets in your opposite sign before the month is over. And this does suggest that you are going to start having hope and also seeing more options than you realized were there before. Wanting to reach out, wanting to connect, wanting to talk, wanting to have those conversations. All of this is going to work beautifully together with this full moon to help you to appreciate your heart's desire and also help you in level of awareness and level of sweetness and softness to be available to it. Actually, I see by the time the month is ending and as we're entering next month, lots of conversations happening, lots of online interactions happening as well, and at least two strong prospects indicating which way and what could be in matters of heart. What I love about this month for you is that you are recognizing that so much of love is about you. It's about your own experiences and your own feelings. By owning that, that so much of it is about how you're perceiving the world, you'll take responsibility for those perceptions, allowing you to put the hurts of the past behind you and embrace a more loving future, a future that is clearly in front of you, filled with love now and the options to come.